Hendrik Felipe, the unknown kid whom Real Madrid signed for a combined fee of 60 million euros back in 2022. What the hell were they thinking? He is a Brazilian talent who doesn't really have a bright future ahead. Or does he? Well, the truth is that the biggest clubs in the world wanted Hendrik. He is one of the best young prospects and for Real Madrid, Hendrik is the revenge they wanted so long for Neymar Jr. After Barcelona secured him, him despite the interest from Madrid. And it's fair to say that Madrid have hit the jackpot. To really give you an idea of how good this kid is, Palmeiras wanted him to sign a professional contract because he was amazing, but he was too young to do it, aged just 15. His technical and physical ability is something Brazil have never seen, not even with Neymar. I won't be surprised if he becomes one of the best footballers in the world in a few years. And of course, the comparisons are already here, especially after he started saying that his hero and idol is Cristiano Ronaldo and that he wants to be like him. So, can he be as good as Cristiano Ronaldo or even better? To answer that question, we have to go all the way back to 2006. That's when Hendrik was born, in Brasilia, Brazil. And as you might have expected, he started playing football from a very young age, at 4 years old to be exact. And his father was the one to introduce him to this sport. He would take his son on the field and he encouraged Hendrik to learn the beautiful game. His dad, Douglas Sousa, took Hendrik to his games, as he considered his son to be a lucky charm. And so, Hendrik's passion for football grew day by day. He continued practicing with his father, until one day his dad decided to record Hendrik's impressive skills and upload them on YouTube. Thanks to his father's efforts, a football scout from Palmeiras noticed Hendrik's talent, and so he offered Hendrik the opportunity to sign for the club. He did it, of course, and he joined the youth team when he was only 11 years old. And in the next 5 years, this kid played like he had no other choice than to become the best in the world. In just 169 games, he scored 165 goals for the youth team of Palmeiras, which is mind-blowing. In 2022, Hendrik participated in the Copa Sao Paulo de Futebol Junior, where he scored 8 goals in just 7 games and was voted player of the tournament because he led Palmeiras to their first title. Now, keep in mind that he did this when he was only 16 years old. And I don't know about you guys, but when I was 16, I didn't know know what to do with my life. I had no clue of what's going on. But this kid at just 16 is winning titles with Palmeiras. And because he had a very tough childhood with basically no food, he just had to succeed. Otherwise, he wouldn't survive. And he also had to do it for his dad, who always supported him and wanted to see his son at the top. So following the Copa Sao Paulo, he caught the attention of several major European clubs. But I have to mention this. All of this happened before he even made his professional debut. He actually made his debut on 6th of October 2022, coming on from the bench in a 4-0 victory against Coritiba. At the time of his debut, he was only 16 years, 2 months and 16 days old, becoming the youngest ever player to appear for Palmeiras' first team. He scored his first two goals on 25th of October in a 3-1 win over Atletico Paranese, becoming the second youngest goal scorer in the Brazil league. And then Hendrik went on to win his first league title with Palmeiras following a 4-0 win over Fortaleza on 2nd of November. At the end of the season, Hendrik was voted the most promising player of the Brazilian Serie A. Now, to put this into perspective, I have to compare him with one of the best Brazilian talents ever. And of course, I am talking about Neymar. When he won the best player of the 2012 Recopa Sudamericana, he was 20. In 2012, he was considered the best talent in the world, with every club in the world wanting his signature. In the end, he signed with Barcelona. And at that time, he was 21. Neymar's strongest trait was his technical ability, while his physical abilities were not that impressive. Anyway, at Barcelona, he was bought to be Messi's long-term replacement. 
replacement at just 21. Well, if that number seems insane to you, Hendrik is just 17. And that's not to say that Hendrik is better than Neymar was, but just remember how Neymar was treated when he was at Santos. Everyone kept saying that he is the third GOAT, he is the next one to dominate football after Messi and Ronaldo. And he was unbelievable. Don't get me wrong, but just think about Hendrik winning the Brazilian league at 17. For me, this is crazy. Like I said, to understand how good he is, you have to compare him with the best. And we are not stopping here. On 15 of December 2022, from all the clubs that were chasing him, Hendrik chose Real Madrid. They reached an agreement that the player will join the club when he will turn 18 years old in July 2024. So basically, this summer. The signing fee is still unknown, but the reported deal is worth around 60 million euros plus 12 million euros in taxes. So Hendrik just signed with one of the biggest clubs in the world before he was even 18. Like I said, he is the Neymar Real Madrid always wanted. And to think about a lineup with Mbappe, Vinicius Jr. and Hendrik up front is honestly scary. The only problem would be deciding who should actually start games, as Vinicius Vinicius and Mbappe are known for their big egos. In addition to that, Mbappe stated that he doesn't like playing as a striker, which leaves only one logical position available for him left wing, where Vinicius Jr. is currently playing, but no manager in the world would bench Vinicius, so someone would have to make some sacrifices, which may leave Hendrik on the bench for at least his first season at Real Madrid. But what about the remainder of his time at Palmeiras? On 11th of October 2023, Hendrik was named by The Guardian as one of the best footballing talents born in 2006, worldwide. Following that, Hendrik wanted to live up to the expectations as he scored two goals and provided an assist on 1st of November 2023 in a 4-3 comeback win against Botafogo. That was a crucial win for Palmeiras, as they moved up 3 points behind Botafogo, who were then top of the table. And on 6th of December, Hendrik again scored a crucial goal in a 1-1 draw against Cruzeiro, which granted Hendrik's second consecutive league title with Palmeiras at just 17. He finished the season with 11 goals, the second highest scored in a Serie A season by an under 18 player. Ok, that sounds good, but what about his international career? Because being good in a national Brazilian league is one thing, but is Hendrik as good as they say for Brazil too? Well, he was called up to the Brazilian national under-17 team for the first time in March 2022. He participated in the Montaigu tournament in France, where he scored 5 goals in just 4 matches. He finished as the top scorer and was named the best player of the tournament. He then was selected for Brazil's under-23 team to participate in the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. In January, he marked his debut by scoring a goal against Bolivia. Bolivia, securing a 1-0 victory for Brazil, and in November 2023, he was finally called up to the senior national team. He participated in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers against Colombia and Argentina, becoming the youngest male player to secure a senior call-up since Ronaldo the Phenomenon back in 1994. And although Hendrik didn't score for Brazil's senior squad yet, he still has a lot of time on his hands. I truly believe that he will play an important role in this Brazil squad. Just think about the actual problems Brazil have. They can't rely on their striker right now, which is Richarlison. He is good but inconsistent. Hendrik is the striker Brazil have missed for such a long time. He is fast, strong and technical, just like his compatriot and football legend Ronaldo Nazario. If Hendrik keeps developing in the right direction, then no striker can start over him in this Brazil squad. Great things are coming up for this kid, but we return on the main delusional question. Can Hendrik be as good as Cristiano Ronaldo? And to answer that question directly, no.
No way. But one thing he can do is fulfill his potential. Not only at Real Madrid, but in football in general. What does that exactly mean? Well, becoming a Madrid legend would be a good start. And I don't think it's something exaggerated to say. The talent is definitely there, no doubt. The only thing he has to do correctly is not distract himself with other typical Brazilian activities. Like partying every day or putting pleasure as the top priority. This unfortunately happened with Ronaldinho and Neymar, the two top Brazilian talents maybe of all time. And you can see where they are now. Well, not in a good place. And if Hendrik can successfully make use of his strengths, then the Ballon d'Ors are waiting for him. In addition, at Real Madrid he has no competition at the striker role. That's only if Mbappe won't be forced to play there. Which means that Hendrik won't be put under pressure by competition. Still, the pressure will be there. Let me explain. Well, it's all because of expectations. Coming to Real Madrid is not easy for any player. Hazard is the perfect example of that. But when you're just a 17 year old with so much pressure on your shoulders, it might get to you no matter how mentally strong you are. He might go down as one of the best footballers to ever play for Real Madrid. Or he could just waste his career by going to such a historic club at that age. The ending only depends on Hendrik. Saying that, Hendrik has a great future ahead of him. He is the biggest Brazilian talent since Neymar in 2012. At 18, he will be already playing for Real Madrid and his transfer coincides with Mbappe's arrival and probably even more ludicrous signings like Davies. Madrid are forming a Galacticos team in 2025, led by the incredible youngster Hendrik. We might really see him win a Ballon d'Or or even two in the future. But what do you think? How far can Hendrik actually go?